This is the first giveaway email. You ready for this? This is from Mandy Lynn. Hey, Josh and Jacob. I've been dating a man for three-ish years, and he has a young son around 10. Dude, why am I reading this like Casey Kasem would read his? <laughs> and for those of you who don't know who Casey Kasem is, fuck you. You're super young. <laughs> He's the voice of Shaggy. Yeah, dude. Yeah, he was. Um, okay. I've been dating a man for three-ish years, and he has a young son around age 10. How did you integrate Beth into your family dynamic, and do you have any tips for helping him acclimate and feel comfortable with me and his family? Much love to you and Beth. Thank you for the levity. Mandy. Okay, Mandy. First of all, for me, I did not... Beth and I decided we had to make sure that we were good. I was like, oh, this is a long-term relationship. And it does sound like this is three years feels like a long-term relationship. But we made we waited a long time before I introduced her to the kids because we wanted to make sure we were good with each other. So that is how we integrated her. And we did it very slowly, man. We did it very slowly. Um, we, uh, and we did it so slowly, in fact, I think you've heard the story, but the, the way my daughter was introduced to her is because I'd never let Beth spend the night because I didn't want the kids to wake up and just see a weird woman in the house. So she, we would, she would come over to the house, we would have sex, and then she would go home. It was actually a pretty sweet setup. As a matter of fact, it's a setup that I lobbied for for many years. But she was like, what about marriage? I'm like, what about we keep having sex and you keep going home? <laughs> Is there an in-between on that? <laughs> but <laughs> Beth, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Totally kidding. Um, but you know, the way my daughter met her man is that, um, so Beth ended up sleeping in my closet one night because she was too tired to go home. And then the closet just ended up, she, she would be like, I'll sleep in the closet until the kids. So she would get out of the bed at around five in the morning and go late. And then it was a walk-in closet, everybody. And I, in this end, I made it real nice. I put a little air mattress in there. I had a little, like a side table so she could put an alarm clock, you know, mini fridge was coming. It was, it was legit. It was like a real New York apartment, you know? And, um, so one morning she's in there and, um, my daughter was in the kitchen and I always let my kids pick out their clothes. Um, and part of it was for, I thought it was good for them to have ownership and part of it because kids are terrible at picking out their own clothes and they look dumb as fuck. And I thought it was funny. Like Kate would go to school and like, you know, pants, but socks pulled up over the pants and a scarf and like a weird hat and eight shirts. It was what she wanted to wear. And pl honestly, I was single at the time and I didn't have the bandwidth to make breakfast, make lunch, get everybody ready and pick out clothes and do all. No, no, no. You pick out your own clothes. So I'm making breakfast one morning and as usual, we're running late. And Caitlin comes in and she says, hey, I can't find my shoes. And I said, I don't know where your shoes are. She said, will you help me look? And I said, babe, you know what? I'm making breakfast. I'm making lunch. If you can't find those shoes, just go pick out another set of shoes, but we got to get out of here in like 15 minutes. She said, but I looked everywhere. I said, you didn't look everywhere. Go look everywhere. So she came back a couple minutes later and she said, I still can't find my shoes, daddy. And there's a stranger sleeping in your closet. And I was like, what? She goes, yeah, yeah there's a stranger sleeping in your closet. And I said, Kate, I'll, I'll help you find your shoes. But I'm so curious. There's a stranger in my closet. You seem pretty calm. That's the only reaction I get. And she looked at me and she goes, your closet, daddy. None of my business what happens in your closet. And she walked out of the kitchen. And I was like, I'm going to bury a body with this girl. She's, she was like, there was no doubt. I was like, oh, she's the, she's the one out of the three kids. Like if I had to bury a secret, she's going to the grave with it. But the way I integrated her was, and it was difficult, man. The kids were tough on her. They were tough, tough, tough. Um, but I did it very slowly and I didn't want them thinking that anyone was replacing their mom or that they in any way, shape or form 
like my relationship with them was going to change. So I, it was important that Beth get integrated in, but in a way that didn't upset their schedule. That didn't make them feel like this, who's, who's this bitch? Do you know what I mean? What, she's coming in and now we're, now we eat dinner, you know, outside on the patio. We don't eat whatever. That's not what it was, but you know, so I made sure that their schedule, our schedule, our life stayed the same. And I wanted to show them, and Beth did too, by the way, how she would fit into that. I don't know what the situation is with his ex. That is a huge thing. You know, my ex at the time was out, when I mean out of the picture, she wasn't even in state. So I, I, I didn't have to d do that dance, which is different. I wasn't splitting time with my ex. The kids were with me. So that was honestly made it easier. It really did because I didn't have to mitigate somebody else's emotions. I had no idea. I didn't have to wonder what was being said over at somebody else's house. All that stuff was important, you know? Um, but I would do it in a way that makes the kids know that you are additive. You're not taking away. You're not changing their life. Not yet, dude. Eventually you will not change their life, but eventually you will. Things will change because you're a grown human. But if you're not living there yet, if you're still just dating, then you just have to fit in where you fit in, into their schedule and their life. One man's opinion. Hey, if you like this podcast you just watched, you're going to love the one I'm popping up in your face right now. Check it out.